What's going on guys? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me. You guys are amazing. You're dynamite. Thank you so much, Maddie G 2007 and Beats by Gaz. You guys are amazing. All the members of the channel, Tom Andrews, Wooga Woo, fantastic with Beats by Gaz. Who else is in here, man? We got a whole bunch of people. Thank you for being here. I know y'all don't want to see this stuff. Y'all want to see the game, man. That's what you're here for. You're here for the game. Let's shut this stuff up and let's play, shall we? All right, so just in got it installed and activated and all that good stuff so I really don't know what's going on here and uh, here we go putting on the index and let's find out what we got it has just occurred to me that I probably need to add another uh, source uh, for the uh, microphone of the index here so audio input capture let's see uh, index mic let's do that and this will be headset microphone Valve index. There we go. All right, index mic is on. We'll kill this one. Got my brand new. Got my brand new. Uh, I know there's an echo. I'm sorry. I uh, got my brand new uh, Winmo VR inserts for my glasses. So we're going to test those out today too. So here we go. Let's do it. Do -do -do. Um, glasses. Where should I put these? Doesn't work. Check, check. All right, we got audio. All right, so I booted up the game, and you guys are seeing what I am seeing, all right? So hopefully I'm not in the way. If I am, maybe somebody can use a bang command and let me know. All right, so I got to click into the game. All right, here we go. So I guess to figure out who I am looking for. All right, this is just character select, so we're not going to spend too much time here. We're just going to select somebody. It looks pretty cool. Ooh, he looks kind of handsome. I don't really care. Let's go with that guy. Sure, why not? Alright, so, uh... Now let's see what else we can do. Um Hey Ducky. What's up, man? Uh I guess we'll go with that one. Alright. Alright, so now we're choosing a voice here. Hey, I like that one. Specialist B. All right. Specialist B. Yeah, let's go with that one. All right, so name. All right, we'll go with, uh, yeah, sure. All right, let's just accept this guy. All right, so we'll go check out the Rebel Pilot. Customize the Rebel Pilot. Start over here, see what we got. Let me make sure y'all can see the game and everything all right. Um, let me take this off for just a moment. Ooh, my glasses. All good. Okay, cool. All good. 
good. I like all good. Alright, so let's customize this guy. Um, who do we want to be? Does it really matter? I don't know. I kind of like this guy. I kind of like that guy. All right. It's kind of buggy. There we go. Alright, so I got him selected. That's kind of cool. That's good enough for me. Well, that's good enough for me. Well, let's just go. Standard. Yeah, standard is good. I like standard. Story mode. Yeah, story mode. Okay. For players who want to experience the story and thrill of space combat without a significant challenge. Enemies are less dangerous. Starfire control is easier. Okay. Pilot, recommended for players with some experience in flight games. That is not me. That is not me. At all. This is me. Are you ready to begin? Single player story. Yes, your progress will automatically be saved. That's great. Let's go. Where's my coffee at? Boy, I hope y'all can see this. Yes, you can. Alright, this is kind of cool. I'm like watching a movie in here. Do not rest until the destruction of Alderaan's complete. <sighs> All right, so ISD vigilance after the destruction of Alderaan. on their way. They're excited to fulfill Lord Vader's command. And you? No qualms hunting down refugees from a world we destroyed? During the Iskalon uprising, you taught me to ignore propaganda. They're traitors, not refugees, and will be dealt with accordingly. I've prepped our usual Sigma-9 loadout. No. Only standard ties today. 
Playing old school, sir. This might be a real challenge after all. All right. You hear me, Teresa? But I don't think you understand me. I guess we'll find out. Follow my lead. And don't fire unless I give the order. The convoy is out there. We don't want to scare them off. Let's do this right. This is pretty cool. Let's show them how it's done. Yeah. Let's show. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, dude. This is amazing. Okay, this. This is amazing. What in the world? Okay, let's. Let's. Can we actually move? Okay, no, we can't move around in here, but this place is huge. The hangar. We got people running around. We got stormtroopers marching. We got stuff behind us. We got my, my body suit right here. Oh, I'm standing, apparently. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got little little units of, of droids over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, good to see you. We got blocks. Oh, the standard valve index blocks, like like are in every single game, <laughs> or the valve blocks, like I like to call them anyway. These guys are getting lectured over here, man. They're getting lectured over there. A little R2 unit in here. All right, so it looks like we got a right click or left click to get in there. Wow. All right, so first impressions are good, boys. First impressions are good. Where are you going? I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. What you doing, little guy? What you doing, little guy? Oh, you got a friends. Where y'all going? What are you doing? What? Hush. I'll get to you in a second. I gotta see what these two lovebirds are doing. They're over there in the corner. What are they doing? Oh, this one's playing hard to get. All right, enough of that. So, what do you guys think? First impressions. Yeah, slight geek moment. Slight geek moment. Alright. Prepare for launch. Whoa, hey buddy. Okay. This is neat. Look forward and hold space to recalibrate my headset. All right, let me let me get comfortable first. So, what do you guys think so far? Slight squeaking. <laughs> oh my god, it looks totally awesome, man. Yeah. This is, it's really not that bad though. What's up, cowboy? Um, my mouse is currently occupied in game or else I would approve that. Thank you so much, man. Um, yeah, dude, it, it, surprisingly, it's not that bad on the eyes. Um, I've got blue light filters in my index though. Um, I don't know how bad it is. I hadn't tried it without them, but I like just put these in last night. So um, it's, it's, it's really not bad so far, so far. But we'll see. Uh, it's been my experience that the index does better in the darker games and the brighter games. You're at the games. front door, he's at the back, and I'm sitting in the rocking chair. The bright games, it destroys my eyes, but I don't know. Maybe, yeah, I guess this microphone's better down here. I don't know why it's being crazy, but anyway, here we go. Good day, Cammy. What's up? Yeah, I'm on early, man. Let's, let's play.
All right, geek out moment. Let's get comfortable. Now, some people play this using the uh, the uh, what do you call these things? The flight sticks and all that good stuff. I don't have that. Kind of wish I did, but I don't. Alright, so look forward and hold space to calibrate. So this space, right? Um Is that not the space bar? I'm trying here. What's going on? I really have to look on my keyboard. That says spacebar. It, it says spacebar. Be further forward. Hmm. Well, in that case, believe I'm where I'm supposed to be. Maybe not. Let's do even more. I mean, I'm like way too forward now. Let's go back one. This is right. Um, whoa, what's that? I'm trying to calibrate the headset, please. Holding the space bar. I'm looking forward. What the heck, dude? I'm clearly in the right space here. Maybe it just needs to come down a little bit. Maybe we'll bring it down a little bit. So let's go down a little bit. It's way too down now. This is right. I mean, just a little bit. this as squadrons this is absolutely the correct positioning that I need to be in doesn't make any sense. Hey Jeremy, what's up man? 
I mean, this is exactly where I need to be. It still says that I have to calibrate this this headset. Huh. Look forward. Hold. Sp I just. What the heck? Am I gonna have to freaking Google this? What if I come all the way forward? Nothing. EA, you're you're failing me. Big time right now. I mean I am in perfect position right here. I mean I can put my legs up and everything. I even got a little footstool down here. I'm in perfect flight position, like, in line with the character right now, like, there is seamless, it looks like I'm wearing the costume, and nothing. Ain't doing so good. <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to Google this. This is very unfortunate. This is unfortunate. Star Wars Squadrons VR Calibrate Headset. Okay. Heavy asterisk at launch. What's this? For PC. Alright, yeah. Disastrous launch. Okay, whatever. Um uh, VR focus. Do not buy the game. Okay. Whatever. Skip button. Open space combat. Okay, yeah. PC was okay. If Steam VR overlay blocking the squad learns prompt. <sighs> Toggle VR, leave your flat screen monitor. Okay, yeah. Yeah, whatever. I'm not I'm not understanding what's going on here. This is on a pre-release copy. More pre-release. Oh, technical mega thread on Reddit. Here we go. This is what we need. The technical Reddit thread. Causes lights in my house to flicker. What? Anyway, um, feels like it's running half the frame rate. Yeah, it's a known issue. Um, the index is capping itself to 60 frames per second. Interesting. So, if anybody's just tuning in, uh, we're having significant problems with the game right now in the Valve Index headset. So, uh, I do apologize here, so, I'm running a uh, 2700X and a 2070 Super OC, if anybody's wondering, with a Valve Index, um, 32 gigabytes of RAM. On an SSD. You gotta get ready. Alright, guys. See you later, man. Have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, sorry uh, it didn't quite work out, man. 
Uh, we're, we're not done yet, so I'm going to try to leave the replay up if it'll let me. We'll see. <sighs> VR calibrate headset. <laughs> Steam VR height adjustment. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what we're going to do? I have an idea. We're just going to reboot the game. Let's just reboot the game. All right, so we're gonna totally restart Steam VR and try again. <laughs> yeah, I know that the game it tracks your headset. And that's all it tracks is your headset. And it tracks my headset, or it should be tracking my headset. It sees my headset right here. Um, and um, when I was in the game, it, it really looked like I was sitting in the game. Like, I perfectly matched up and everything. So, I really don't know. Um, but, we're going to try it again. Hang tight. I'm going to boot it up and let's see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to boot it from right in the headset. And everything's going to work just perfectly. Right? Right. So let's turn these on. Let's get into position. Let's adjust our room. Just made a Star Wars profile, so we'll apply that. No. Let's do this right here. Star Wars Squadrons launch. It's launching, it's waiting. It's thinking about what it wants to do. Alright, here we go. We're we're doing something. I don't know. I guess you guys can see this. It says connecting. again all right here's the famous logo all right 
Um, okay, all player ranks, new reward. Okay, access your rewards under customization. All right, cool. So, story mode. I want to do that. Continue story. Setting engine power one to maximum will improve your speed and maneuverability. Dude, Eric, thank you so much, man. Happy Friday, man. Happy Friday. Alright, so we're up and going. Look forward and hold this to calibrate. <sighs> Maybe it's the hyphen button. Hey! being stupid. Okay, audio output capture. So if it ain't one thing, it's another. if this will actually work. Alright, well we have game audio now. Alright. And Eric, thank you so much, man. I, I really appreciate it, man. Eat some lunch, got a quesadilla. Thank you, dude. And enjoy your lunch. And you uh Thank you, man. You are a dumb man. Member of the channel as well. And uh, you guys can kind of sort of hear me. So, thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. You're the awesome DJ that I am a friend of. I think we're working again. Recalibrate. It's the hyphen. Alright, so I want to be sitting here. This is comfortable for me. Right in here. Alright, press Z to boot the systems. Uh. I am pressing Z. Good sir. <sighs> really? Seriously? First it's the hyphen, now it's the Z. There is no mistaking, this is the Z key. Caps lock? No. <sighs> K 
caps lock is off. No Z. Escape seems to work. Tap T to target ship directly ahead. Okay. Forward sensor online and tracking. Now, throttle up and deploy out of the hangar. W is throttle up. Whoa! Whoa, I need my tracker. Whoa, whoa, hey, buddy. Whoa. Ah, the rest of the fleet is back from Malastair. We'll have plenty of help to deal with that convoy of sympathizers. Helix Squadron, we're prepping your Gazanti transport. Stand by. Copy vigilance. All pilots follow me. We'll do a quick pass of the fleet to calibrate. Where are you control. going, bro? Absolutely. Stay mobile. We don't want any collisions. Oh, there he is. From inside, you forget how big our star destroyers really are. Careful. The shields won't harm us. Whoa. Behind so close to the hull is no time to get careless. Whoa! Oh. Get it together, pilot. <laughs> You're right, sir. It is good to fly old school again. There's something very forthright about a TIE fighter. It looks like someone is testing battle formations. Better here than in the field again. Keep your distance, Helix. Those engines run hot enough to vaporize a tie. I've known a few daredevils who found that out the hard way. Tie pilots push the limits. Sometimes the limits push back. Yikes. All systems calibrated, and the fleet is in good shape. The vigilance reports our Gozanti transport is ready. Helix Squadron, head to the Gozanti and dock for hyperspace jump. Of course. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. Follow down below the Gazanti so its locks can engage. Here we go. Helix Squadron are docked and clear for hyperspace jump. Remember, Helix, we'll have support, but finding the refugee convoy is up to us. They won't escape the Empire twice. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that was fun. So what I'm looking at looks like a large curved monitor in front of me. A big 32 inch monitor. Cool load screen. trading post in the sector. It's only a haven for thieves and pirates. If the refugees are hiding here, clearly they're not as innocent as they claim. Where are we going, boss? Oh, there's like pitch and roll. I didn't even realize that. I forgot. Whoa, buddy, where you go? is secure at least. Interesting. There's a lot of cargo traffic today. 
Whoa, let's not turn upside down. Agreed. All cargo vessels. This is Captain Lyndon Javes of the Galactic Empire. Prepare for immediate inspection. And this is Vostar Haven Station Master. Kindly avoid harassing my customers. If they cooperate, they'll be fine. Pilot, proceed. I'll handle it. Check your forward sensor. It will identify potential targets. Alright, so looking at my sensor, it's okay so far. Hey, almost clipped up. Begin by inspecting that ship. To scan an unknown ship, face it and tap T to target it, then approach it. Your scan will begin automatically when you are facing the target within 100 meters. 1,000 meters. Wait, wait. We have always been loyal to the Empire. See? We're loyal. I swear. No refugees aboard. Carry on. Pilot, keep inspecting those ships and see if the refugees are here. Okay, so we need to scan. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check that ship next. Look, I'll pay anything. Just don't involve my ship. Not part of the convoy. Check another ship. Whoa. So you're not impounding my ship? There, a ship's trying to flee from a simple inspection. We should teach them some Where's it at? Oh, Where's it at? Oh, there's James. Pilot, track it on your sensors and fire a small volley. Just enough to damage them. Then see if they're hiding the refugees. Where is it? Is that? Oh, there it is. There. Stop that ship. What am I supposed to do? Chase it? Alright. Boy, we're going fast. F to cycle through targets. Okay. Alright, so we're targeting. Whoa, that's loud. Hello, Jesse. That scared the crap out of me. Press 2 to divert powers to lasers. Whoa, we gotta get out of there. We gotta get out of here. This is this is interesting. All right, where am I? There I am. The defense capability is dropping. Keep going. All right, so I got one. I got two, but I gotta move. I gotta move. I don't know what my health is looking like, but it didn't sound good. Is there one? Yeah, you, you, you. All right. All right, let's spin back around. Ow, something hit me. 
Yikes! Okay, let's let's move. Let's move. Am I upside down? Where am I? I think I need to get away from whatever this is. Uh, can we move, please? All right. There's the sun thing. All right, and are we right side up now? I don't know. Where's all the fire happening? Alright, so we can shoot these from afar. Alright. Press four to rebalance. Captain James, I think I found where the refugees are hiding. On our way. Pilot with me. Where are we going? All right, so we're going to follow Lieutenant Carroll. to repair my hull. Yeah. They must be protecting the convoy. Defend yourselves if necessary. I'll look for the refugees. Uh, I need a target. You go away, you. One more. All right. Destroy X wings, good. All right, so we got some more. We got some more. I see you. Gotcha. All right, next. There you are. You gone. Got one. Peace out, homie. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. All right, we got one more. Where are you? I gotta get out. All right, I got to move. Let's roll. All right, come on, homeboy. Where are you? We gonna find you? You on the other side of the ship? Where are you? All rebel targets destroyed. Sweet. All right. Captain, the rebel fighters are coming from that tunnel through the station. The refugee convoy must be hiding in there. After them. We'll deal with you later, station master. You attack my station and customers, then blame me? Imperial thugs. There. The convoy. Prepare to fire. Okay. No! They disabled my ship. All systems down. Those were iron missiles. Where the hell did they come from? I'm sorry, Teresa. After all the run, I can't ignore what the Empire's become. Sir. Lyndon, what are you saying? That I don't care who ordered it. I didn't sign up to hurt innocent refugees. And if protecting them makes me a rebel, then so be it. Damn it! Hmm. Pilot. Yes. See if you can bypass his shutdown. Mash any button. You got this. It says mash any button. Captain 
Watch up with that traitor. That was pretty cool, man. <laughs> Lieutenant Carroll to the vigilance. Captain James is aiding the rebellion. Send immediate assistance. So we gotta chase this guy over here. Press one to divert. I hope it wouldn't come to this. Enemy shields. Some starfighters like X Wings have regenerating shields. You must blast through the shields before you can damage their hull. Lead your target when you're aiming. Reticle turns from red to white. Your shot will hit the target. Watch how the enemy is moving and lead your target to land a perfect shot. Alright, so we need to do white. Whoa! Whoa! Up, 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 up! Crash! Crash! Uh, stop, dude. Alright, let's, let's... What are you doing? I don't know. I'm trying. You fool. He slipped away. <sighs> this mission is over. <laughs> retry. Let's retry. I lost control of my starship. Whoa. Back it up. You fool. He slipped away. This mission is over. This is harder than it looks. Jump with that traitor. This is very hard to control. Slow it down. Let's go. All right, now we gotta go. You won't stop me. I see the Q. Repair my hole. Echo Squadron, mid rim. Looking good, buddy. So now we're playing the other side. Nice. So, this is the prologue to A Call to Rebellion. Flying with the Rebel Alliance is Echo Squadron. You have received a distress call from an Alderanian refugee convoy. Go to Foster Haven and protect the refugees from the Imperial Star Destroyer Vigilance. Neat. Neat. This is cool. Alright, let's take a uh, quick... Wow, the tubing and the buttons... This is cool. I'm a big fan of like tubing like this. I know I'm weird, but I love tubing. I'm, I'm a strange person. All right, so let's take a break from VR for just a second, rest my eyes for a couple minutes, grab some coffee, talk about first impressions, shall we?
So what do we think so far? I'm a fan so far. All right, uh, it's a cool one. Uh, just getting started playing. Yes, that's true. Um, where is any button? Um, it was just any button, man. Why the heck am I watching this on my phone when I have a laptop that my employer provides for me? <laughs> you know, I used to do that too. I used to do that too. Um, it 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 looks a whole lot bigger in. I guess on your screen than it does on mine. To mine, it looks like my normal screen, but my normal screen is like three, well, it's two 24-inch monitors and a 27-inch in the middle, so it looks like a 32, maybe a 40-inch to me, um, but it's not like, you know, IMAX or anything like that. Um... Happy Friday. All right, so <sighs> give me just a second, and I'll be right back, all right? We'll get back in there. He's going to get up and stretch on me legs because it's a healthy thing to do. Stretching your legs is a healthy thing to do, especially if you just sit in a chair and work on a computer all day. So give me just a second. Alrighty, much better. Have to remember the passwords to log in on unknown computers. Yeah. Okie dokie. Was there a delay in the response between the PC or something? Uh, yes, there is a delay. Um, it's a uh, control mechanism. Um, it's supposed to be a motion smoothing thing, and. Uh, also, it's it's part of the flight mechanic. Um, it's always been my experience that I'm really bad at flight games because they require precision control, and I tend to like play Mario, which is left, right, up, down, and diagonal. It's not really precision. It's go and stop. <laughs> so I'm not really good at the the speed control and the uh, throttles controlled with WASD. Uh, or the throttle is W and S, and then the roll and pitch is A and D, and then the mouse will also, it'll do my flaps to make me go in the direction. So I, it's a combination of steering with the roll and also steering with the mouse. And it's, yeah, I, th I think that a throttle and a flight stick might be in order here. I might have to start looking at flight sticks. We'll see. But we're going to keep playing. Yes, indeed, practice does make perfect. And, all right, flying with the Rebel Alliance, it's Echo Squadron, you have received a distress call from a refugee, all right. Oh, yeah, I need to be inside the game, so here we go. Check. That call sounds desperate. Can anyone make out what he's saying? They're working on it. Okay, Echo Squadron, on me. This is Admiral Akbar to Echo Squadron. Echo Leader here. Admiral, any luck pinpointing that distress call? Hopefully. You may need 
Oh look, it's the dude. Understood, sir. Echo, prepare for systems check. Coming back around, squadron. On me. So much for a quiet patrol. Starting systems check. Sir. Sure. All right, the TIE fighter flies a lot better. Not the TIE, the uh, X-Wing flies a lot better. For up against a Star Destroyer, we'll need maneuverability. Fast and nimble, got it. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Let's get away from that. Slow down a little bit here. Yeah, all right, we need this guy right here. I am pressing Z, dadgummit. Alright, let's just stop right here. Press 2. I can't read. Weapons look good. They'll look better when we're shooting down ties. Alright, let's go. Double check shields. Right. We might need to hold out a while. Systems check complete. In formation. Echo 3, matching formation. Echo 2, standing by. Echo 5, standing by. Look at us, side by side. Okay, squadron. Anyone low on missiles needs to stock up now. Head to the U-Wing for resupply. Missiles. All good? Good. Command has verified the distress call from Vasta Haven. A refugee convoy in Vasta Haven has been sending to the Star Destroyer. We need help. All right, time to go. Echo Squadron, join the first wave and head to the rendezvous point. This had to happen while half the fleet's away. Alright, so the X-Wing controls so much better. Focus. We are not losing anyone else. 
Why am I not moving? Am I moving? Yeah, I guess I am moving. Whoa. Targeting the wrong things. I could let the Empire destroy more innocents from Alderaan in the name of security. So you Let's double back. You could say that. You saved my life. Alright, I need a target. Let's go. Come on, slow it down, slow it down. Where are you going? Let's find some more. I'm on your way. Yikes. Alright, so I got one. Let's find some more. I see you down there. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Grab your fighter. They'll send more ties soon. Echo Squadron, let's get in position and escort these transports. I'm right beside you. This is Admiral Akbar, the Rebel Alliance. Echo Leader reports you're willing to defect. Willing and able. And keep assisting Echo Squadron. Following. Squadron, there's a quasar bearing down on the convoy. And filled with reinforcements. Take the ties down. Alright, how y'all doing? the quasar what is the quasar okay hey how you doing all right there's some ties over here let's get them let's go gotcha WS to throw half speed for fast returns.
Alright, where are we going? For now. Let's make the most of it. Echo Squadron, bring the convoy and Linden here to a safer position. We're on it. Admiral, I know how this Imperial fleet operates. I can tell they're prepping their capital ships for an attack right now. We need backup. Alright, I'll send you the rest of Echo Squadron with everything they've got. Heading towards a Star Destroyer. Again. Facing its turrets this time. It's okay, our fleet's coming. Well, not fast enough. Fleet is now at your location. Echo Squadron, keep the convoy safe while the flagship engages the vigilance. Leave it to us. Alright, so... The Empire's sending in a raider to intercept the convoy. We have to take that raider down. Pilot, with me. Almost in range. Get ready. Where am I going? The convoy's under fire from the Imperial fleet. Duh, really? Good. Their shields are weakening. Keep the radar focused on us, not the convoy. Starting another attack run. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. The Raiders lost shields. They're trying to get cover from the capital ships. This is our chance. Finish this. All right, let's turn it around. Where is it? There it is. Raiders top. At least the fleet's keeping that Star Destroyer busy. And this is what I'm supposed to be doing, right? Right? Am I supposed to be moving here? I can definitely move. Alright. Missile this guy. Good. Echo. Let's get that convoy to a safer location. It's a good idea. Head to the far side of the MC eighty. Frigate's gone. Refugee convoy. We're out of time. We've got to get you out of here. Refugee convoy to Rebel Alliance. We're ready for light speed jump. Wait. The Star Destroyer will be watching all possible vectors. They can still find you. Pilot, the shadows are amazing. If we can destroy the targeting system on the vigilance. We might throw them off the convoy's trail. Wait, you two are attacking the Star Destroyer? Let's hope your fleet can keep those shields down. Strike here. We can take down the vigilance's targeting. We're getting there. Keep firing. Keep moving. Better to do multiple passes. That's it. Vigilance's targeting is down. Oh, convoy vessels, prep for light speed jump. Echo Squadron, withdraw and handle any fighters near the convoy. Right, here we go. Now, both of you, get clear. 
We're going. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Whatever happens next, you saved a lot of innocent lives. Oh, thank you. And mine. Come on, let's go. Thank you. We'll tell everyone what the Rebel Alliance did for us. Found all Rebel Alliance forces. The refugee convoy is safe. All ships prepare for light speed. That was fun. That was fun. Achievement unlocked. Fracture, fracture at Foster Haven. Four years we later. We choose our path. Light or dark. Freedom or destruction. The Empire chose to destroy Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fires of rebellion. But the heroic pilots of the Rebel Alliance have chosen to keep fighting to show the Empire that we are not afraid. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our footing. As their Empire collapses, they try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of brave and daring pilots, this war can end. Make a choice. Fly with the New Republic. Change our galaxy for the better. All right, it's propaganda. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, Star Wars Squadrons, but yay. Prologue completed. Thanks. Press spacebar to continue story. Press escape to go to the main menu. Let's continue the story, man. Vanguard Squadron. Squadron to Temperance. Do you read us now? Had some trouble with our long-range comms. You're the third patrol reporting comm blackouts. Head on back, Gunny. The commander will want a full report. Lousy comms. Chasing our tails for hours, and now we're late to meet the new boss. Well, do you want to race home, Frisk? We might make it before his speech ends. <laughs> Keo, I ain't racing you. I learned my lesson the first 12 times. <laughs> Ash, the speech is starting. I'm not one for speeches, so I'll just say I'm honored to assume command of the Temperance in this fleet. Vanguard Squadron's reputation for bravery and integrity is unrivaled, which is why, effective immediately, we have been reassigned to an initiative codenamed Project Starhawk. Starhawk? And those rumors about a secret project are true. What do you think it is, huh? Some kind of weapon? The key to victory. If it helps end the war, who mm -hmm. cares? I care. I like to know who I'm working for. The good guys, Frisk. Remember? The only people in the galaxy who don't have a death mark on you? <laughs> ah, Grace. The day ain't over yet. <laughs> Come on. Back to the temperance. We can meet the new boss. And anyone else he's bringing along. Okay. Hey. Ah, there you are. Ardo said to expect you. I'm Zarelda Sage, Chief Mechanic, and this here's the Temperance, my pride and joy. I imagine you're excited to join the action. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, here's the rest of your squadron. Hey, Gani, I got your new pilot over here. You go ahead, I'll meet you in there. Welcome to Vanguard Squadron. Hi. I'm Kyra Kuva. You can call me Gunny. I'm Sean. Happy to have you on the team. Thanks. Let's talk after the briefing, yeah? Let's do that. You're joining one of the best outfits in the New Republic. Hope you can live up to it. Mm. Anyway, follow them into the briefing room. I think our new commander's waiting for you in there. Okay. Enter the briefing room. 
Okay. Ah, you arrived. Yeah. Excellent. Otto, meet our new Vanguard Five. Hi. Oh, the one who saved your skin at Foster Haven. Ardo Baradai, Fleet Intelligence. A pleasure. Nice to meet you. I heard they rewarded you with a posting to Chandrilla. A real honor. Very Thank safe. You. But a good pilot shouldn't just gather dust. I needed people I can trust. And I figured you'd want to get back into the action. <laughs> There's no shortage of that around here. <laughs> right. Let's get you briefed. Brief me. Welcome back to the front line, Vanguard Five. Thank you. Oh man, I didn't even get to look around. What? Okay, here we go. Now I can look around. Ooh. Your briefing's ready to go. Thanks. I'll I'll get there in a second. I gotta look around. Dude. Dude. Alright, this is awesome. The texture on this guy. Get the whoa! Huh. Settle, folks. Hush, Bear hush. I don't care. I want to see the 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 everything. I want to see the everything. All right. Brief me, baby, one more time. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. I fear these blackouts could be a prelude to invasion. Vanguard Squadron, I need you to split up to solve this. Frisk and Grace, bring our new pilot to the Brental system's borders. The scouts we sent to investigate haven't reported in. Find out what happened to them. Then regroup with your squadron near the planet Cabus. Gunny and Keo, that's where you're headed. If I were still an Imperial, well, I'd send jamming ships there. Knowing the Empire, I expect they're using these jamming vessels to disrupt our long-range comms. They'll have TIE squadrons in tow. Destroy all Imperial squadrons and jammers. Communications must be restored for Project Starhawk's future. When you've succeeded, regroup and return to the Temperance. Let's see how you do, Vanguard Squadron. Got a moment. All right. So we gotta speak with you. Hey, Grace. Hello. Hi. Grace Salia Vatara Sina. Grace, if you like. You're tiny. It's a pleasure. I've been with Vanguard long enough for Gunny to trust me with second position. And she doesn't trust easily. Especially those from Imperial families. Well, everyone finds out sooner or later. Yes. Unfortunately, my dear estranged family builds TIE fighters for the Empire. And I take great delight in blasting those fighters to stardust. I trust you will too. See you out there. Yeah, that's one thing I gotta say about this game. All of the humans, they appear to be like three quarter scale. Like, up close and personal, they all seem to be like three quarter scale. Even tinier, maybe. I mean, you're Welcome a small old person. You'll do great things with us. Trust me. This is an amazing team. I went from semi-pro racing to fighting the Empire. Quite a change. I'm like tiny but too. everyone in Vanguard lifts up the others. You'll fit right in. Whatever this Project Starhawk is, I suppose the commanders will tell us when they're ready. But for now, we have scouts to find. Okay. According to the battle plan, we aren't flying together on this mission, but you'll be on my wing sooner than later. See you out there. Okay. Alright. So the hangar's over there. I guess it's time to go to uh, the hangar. Or we can look at the briefing. As you've no doubt experienced, the Empire is jamming communications across the sector. All right. Let's grab some coffee. And go to the hangar. Oh, 
All right, who do I want to talk to? I'll talk to you. Because you're right here. Hey, buddy. Finally, chance to get acquainted. Like I said, the name's Gunny. Stay sharp, keep your nose clean, and we'll be off to a good start. We had calm blackouts like this right before the Empire invaded Mimban. Lost a lot of friends. But I learned to shoot a blaster. <laughs> You'll be flying with Frisk and Grace today. But I Meet learned to shoot a blaster. <laughs> the best advice I can give you is this. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Stick with your squadron. <laughs> it's simple, but sometimes hot shots and lone wolves need to hear it. I love this guy. Get to your ship. He's so adorable. I don't want to get to my ship. I want to go talk to people. Let's talk to Frisk. Hey, bud. What's up? Hey. Nice to meet ya. Squad calls me Frisk. Oh. Only Grace calls me by my real name. And only when she's mad. <laughs> I know it's not often you find a handsome fella like me fighting for the rebellion. Er, uh, New Republic. His tongue moves. I used to be in what disturbing. you might call acquisitions, you know, hunting down trophies, antiques, anything collectors wanted. Until I got that pesky death mark, of course. How was I supposed to know that painting was fake? <laughs> or that the Imperial Governor was gonna show it off to Admiral Thrawn? That's what's great about this place, though. They always got a berth for a good pilot. Death mark or not. Say, you play Sabak? I'm trying to learn, but no one around here ever wants to play me. Maybe we could, uh, go a few rounds, huh? <laughs> For credits, of course. It's the only way I'm gonna learn, right? Guess we should get on and fix that calm blackout. You know, let's not gamble on the Star Wars. You ready to go? Just hop in the cockpit. No, I wanna talk some more. How about you? Alright, so we've done the briefing. That dude's cool. That's like the most epic beard ever. Check that guy out. Epic beard man, right there. <laughs> I know they're tentacles. Let's talk to Zerelda. Hello, Zerelda. You ready to go? Hey. A mission already? Good. I'm not one for waiting around. Got an X Wing ready for you here. A I see. real beauty. If you need. Sorry. The droid's giving me the eye. <laughs> Little rust buckets are always planning something, right? I was gonna say, if you need anything for that shiny starfighter of yours, just come to me, all right? I'll see you fixed up. We should run a pre-flight check on your X-Wing. Climb into the cockpit when you're ready. Okay. Prepare for launch. Ah, the X-Wing. Backbone of the Rebel Alliance and our New Republic. A good old rounder that'll stand up to any starfighter or capital ship in the Imperial fleet. Okay. What is the loadout on this thing? Primary weapon is a standard laser cannon, left auxiliary repair droid, right auxiliary concussive missile, secret warheads. Standard hull, standard reflector, standard engines. All right, launch mission. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, this is cool. Power management systems. Check. Check. All right. I'm loading in your astromech droid now. Keep an Vanguard 5, you are clear for launch. 
Thank you. Wow. This is incredible. So, obviously, I don't know that anybody here has been in a X-Wing before. But I can tell you, there's an R2 unit on the back. Ah, that's my repair droid. Ah, look at him go. Look at him go. All right, this is pretty incredible, man. It feels like I'm in a cockpit. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm geeking out, man. I want a flight stick and a throttle control. I really want a flight stick and a throttle control right now. Let's go. once you find our missing pilots, all right? See you soon. Good luck, you two. Our jump point's just ahead. Where? Where? I see no jump point. Behind me? Oh, it's over there. What's it doing over there? Them. 
Alright, so we're still following Grace. I hope the scouts are alright. Me too, Grace. Me too. There's our target. Mm hmm. Let's slow it down. I thought I was following Grace, apparently not, so. Target the wreck and close in. We can't let our allies die in vain. Such brutality. Even that astromech got dusted. Someone really didn't want these scouts getting home. Hey, I'm picking up a second signal. Let's check it out. Okay. Where are you? There you are. I don't like this, Grace. I hear you. Something's not right. If we're lucky, something survived the attack. Stay ready for anything. Wait, that's not a New Republic signal. It's Imperial. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Friendly. All right, I need a target. You, you. Let's just get this guy right here. Sure thing, Chris. I'll 
Alright, so we can evade missiles by taking sharp turns and divert. over here. Some too. Where are you? That was good, right? They're walking on. Another Imperial Gemma destroyed. Great work, Vanguard 5. Wizard! Let's finish the last of these ties. That's all of them. Good work, everyone. Sweet. Stupid empire. Try to invade our territory, will ya? Alright, where are we at? Do you read me? There you are. We just got off two jamming ships en route to your location. What's the situation? Cunny and Kyo are in trouble. Where are they? We need to help them now. Okay. Head toward Cavus. Let's go. Here we go. Fun. Imperial reinforcements. Another goes anti with ties. Then we take them out too. All right, you good? You good? Uh oh. That Cassanti just jumped out of the system. Running scared, I bet. That's all the Tie Fighters. I'm with you. Requesting a resupply. When needed, you can request a supply droid from your support starfighter. A supply droid will temporarily attach to your ship, repairing your hull. Okay. Press 6. That'll patch up your hull and stock up your ordnance. 
Yes. Appreciate it. Follow me. Vanguard, we have an Imperial cruiser protecting the last of the jammers. Taking down these ships ain't gonna be easy. Not uh, while well, the cruiser has a missile launcher. We'll keep our countermeasures ready. What's our play? If we take out the jammers first, we can call the temperance for reinforcements. That's why you're in charge, Cuddy. Vanguard 5, focus on the jammers. Sir. Missiles! Yikes! Countermeasures can quickly shake a missile off your tail, but they're limited. Use them sparingly. Use R just before impact. Woo. Yeah, sharp turns. Alright, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm going over here. Let's go. Buddy. Oh. Alright, let's go attack this one. Let's go. Can I get out of here now? I'm taking damage. It's not bad though. Cruiser destroyed. Sweet. You want me to examine the wreckage now? This is Vanguard Squadron. Mission accomplished. Sure is Vanguard. Communications are restored across the sector. I knew you'd work well together. I'm grateful to command such a strong squadron. Come on back to the Temperance. Thank you, Commander Chase. We'll celebrate a job. Barrel roll. Barrel roll, we room. Oh, this is fun. Welcome home, Vanguard. No time for 
a celebration, I'm afraid. We have a visitor and a mission. I think you'll be interested. Oh, thanks. Mission complete. Alright, uh, though losing the scouts is a blow to the Vanguard Squadron, you have pushed back an Imperial incursion and restored communications across the Born and Mia sector. Uh, Vanguard Squadron's next mission lies ahead. Mission complete, bronze story. Alright, so I didn't get the defense breaker, I didn't get the efficiency medal. <laughs> I got the enduring service medal. Loyal recruit. Metal info. Alright, what is metal info? Complete mission one in 16 minutes or less. Okay. Destroy all TIE fighters before taking out the jammers. Oh. Alright, well, that wasn't too bad. Hello. Hi there. What's up, little friend? Mm-hmm. Alright, hi you. You wanna join the party? Alright, so they're talking. What else do we have going on? We got the briefing room over there. You're cute. All right, let's take this off for a second. Something right there, man. That's a great game. Give me just a second here. I gotta do something here. Um, so I guess you that. Yeah. All right. There we go. Hey Joe Chavez, good to see you and welcome. All right, so where are we? It is 1:05 p.m. Wow. Does Sean speak droid? Nope. Hey, what's going on, Bruce? Welcome. Hello, hello. This is fun. A lot of action. Um, I like the. Let's see, I the second one, the graboids evolved to a thing that farts and flies. They call him it's blasters, and you gotta kill them. <laughs> um. Tape recorder suit, yeah. New chapter, yay. Dude, these graphics are awesome. Let's see. What a way to start the day. I agree, man. I can't think of a better way than waking up and uh hopping in a uh hopping in a TIE fighter or hopping in an X Wing and and going to town, man. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed the first two missions. I think we're going to play at least one more, if not more. Um, but I do need to uh, stand up for a moment. Um, playing in VR gives, uh, you consider gives me considerable eye strain. So I do need to rest my eyes for just a couple of minutes here. Um, and I'm going to grab a little bit of coffee 
as well. So if y'all can stand by for uh, just a moment here, I'll be right back. And uh, I'm going to grab myself a cup of coffee. I'm going to throw on a little bit of music for you guys. And we'll be right back, okay? This time, let's we All right, game time. Get back to it, y'all. So sorry about that, but here we go. What? Well, we have about 10 minutes. Hey, Joe. Great way to start the day. This is a real nice, this is real nice, Sean. I was a bit of a Star Wars nerd. Oh, nice, dude. This is awesome. I just, I got off of your stream, and I saw that it was out, and it was like, yeah, let's play. I wish you could wake and bake. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. I think. Index microphone. All right, little guy. All right, let's go talk to these guys. Y'all will have to see. The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. <laughs> yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. Well, thank you. Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. You see that one, Kyo? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the hollow net. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. I think it was one of the Ash Twins. No, wait. Delon Vuk. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. <laughs> only. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Great. Commander's waiting. Commander's waiting? He sure is. Where's my mouse? Alright, let's go. 
brief me, baby, one more time. So where is it now? I helped Talus Group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's pinned in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus Group to handle alone. This might work out for both of us. Come, meet our visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk, intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. I gotta go take a Star Destroyer. As you may have overheard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, if we can also take out the targeting system, that'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. You'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, bombard it until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, <clears throat> we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge, and is in control of the Star Destroyer. We will rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Hmm. <laughs> you hope think? It <laughs> Sorry for the speedy introduction. But Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Mm -hmm. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer <laughs> and get away with it. You're right. <laughs> Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling... Well, that's classified too. <laughs> General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Skystrike Academy, turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. These people are so tiny. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. I mean, really, like, they're so tiny. Hmm? Alright, let's talk to these guys. The Star Destroyer? Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, the wounded Krakana can still bite. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Okay. Well, let me itch my face first. Alright, let's go. So, we're headed to Yavin. In exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, mm -hmm. or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor, bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten. Mm -hmm. If you're good and lucky, let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. Okay. 
prepare for launch. Can I talk to anybody else? My home guy over there with the beard. I like him. Alright, I guess that's it. <clears throat> Oh, we can inspect all this stuff? Oh, heck yeah. Dude. What's up here? Nice. This is sweet. Alright, where else can we inspect? So let's go down there. Oh, hold on. Hey, bud. Hello. I would like some human cyborg um, translations, please. Please? Right, let's go over to the other side. Where's my. Where is... Hey there. This is pretty cool. <sighs> Alright, I guess it's time to go. Prepare for launch. Here we go. The commander wants you on an X-wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters, and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. All right. So. Let's go. TIE Fighters. Let's go, guys. Roll it out. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Locking on. We got you. 
We good. Ah, here they are. All ties down. Ties down. Okay, regroup on Talos, leader. Wedge, we've taken heavy losses. We need to make a few repairs, then get ourselves out of here. Roger that, Talos, leader. But don't worry about the Imperials. We'll keep them busy. You're really gonna steal that Star Destroyer? That's the plan. Okay, Vanguard, on me. Let's head for the Victorum. Who smacked into me? Focus your shields before they open fire on us. Shield control. You can focus your shields towards the front and back of your ship to maximize protection on one side while leaving you a safe space. You can always balance your shields. Okay. How do I do that? Press C to open the shield focus selector. Oh my gosh. So we want front. Look out its targeting system. Let's do it. Putting power to forward shields. All that damage and this thing still has teeth. No wonder Talus Group took a beating just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorum go up in flames, but stealing it? <laughs> I like that even better. Alright, I'm just trying to get rid of these little things here. Alright. Star Destroyer targeting's out for good. Thanks. Alright, so I gotta balance my shields again. This is our chance to capture that Star Destroyer. If we take the bridge, we'll have access to its internal systems. Scan for a breach point, so we can send in a boarding team. You're up, Five. Breaching a Star Destroyer, just like the old days. Look out, Vanguard! We got a gunny story incoming! Scan! Sure. <laughs> just tell me when I can turn my comms back on. If your comms are off, how can we tell you to... No, forget it. Scan. Fighters incoming. Enemies tailing you. I'm trying to scan it. Why won't it let me scan? Missile locking. Yikes. All right, let's go. Let me, let me scan. Scan. There we go. Oh. Clear it up. I need to scan. Scan, come on. Scan. Scan for breach points. Let me scan it, man. Is there another scan point on the other side? Enemy destroyed. Aha. You're good now. You got bad guys behind. All right, we got to go. Alright, let's 
just go. Destroy the breach point. Alright. Hey, how about you let me do my thing? Alright, let's go. Bunch of you guys. See some ties over here. There's one. All right, gotcha. And supply ships? Is that what that is? Alright, we got more ties. We got some more coming over here. Let's go. I see you down there. Boy, y'all are fast. I'm trying, man. All fighters destroyed. I'm done for. I'm on it. Thanks, Wedge. Fighter took a beating, though. Great work. Your wings are on their way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the rendezvous. We'll give them cover. Bad guy. Let's go. Alright, where's Wedge? Where's Wedge? There's Wedge. Alright. Where are you going, man? Morning team, we have you on our sights. Ready to take on a Star Destroyer? Copy Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him back on. Guide those U-Wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew won't be a problem with no computer access and all the blast doors locked. Wedge, I am trying to follow you, my brother. Where are you going? We've got an Imperial carrier. They're launching reinforcements. They're not giving up the Victorum without a fight. Vanguard, take down that cruiser. Advanced targeting. By default, your targeting system will only cycle through the objective, so you can f change that with a wheel. For instance, you can set your targeting to flagship systems to focus on subsystems of a deadly star destroyer or all enemies to target enemies that are not mission critical, such as the f TIE Fighters. Interesting. Five to open the targeting wheel. So five and all enemies target all enemies No, they're 
not. We're good. We're okay here. No, they're not. Let's go. This will be locking. No, it ain't. Locking nothing. Love to be the hero. Just looking out. Enemy is down. Keep at it. Come on, you can. Calm down, man. Calm down. Let's go. Almost there, Van Gogh. Take that carrier down. We're taking fire, but we're almost to the bridge. Phew. Carrier destroyed. Finally. Great work. All right, team. Let's finish off the rest. Bridge is sealed. Cutting through the blast doors. I see you. Yikes! They're there. I see you. Alright, so there's one over here now. We're good. Alright, regrouping with Wedge. No, no, no. Game crash. Game crash. No. Game crash. Welcome to my um, cliff house, everyone. Hope y'all are having a wonderful time in my cliff house, everyone. <laughs> well. Well then, that was interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, it just totally quit on me. It's only one 
No, right. Yes, officially only it's uh, one crash. That is correct. The other was me confusing the space bar for the hyphen because my space bar has a line on it just like my hyphen key does, which is also the underscore key. So they probably should have written hyphen underneath that or moved it to something else. Anyway, that's just an opinion thing. Uh, I guess that's the game telling me it's time to quit, yeah. Um, unlike the bike, ch what are y'all talking about? Um. <clears throat> I've heard that the new quest is not bad, man. I don't know, um, I know for some people the, uh, the, uh, distance between your screens and the eyes and the lenses and all that, you know, for glasses, it might be, uh, uh a thing, um, that you really want to try one on first, maybe, but, uh, I mean, those aren't, um, those aren't anywhere, uh, close to the, uh, the, uh, index price tag, which is really nice. Dirty fish tank, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was fun, man. That was a whole lot of fun. Um, but I think I am going to hang it up for right now. I think I am going to hang it up for right now. Um, I don't know if I want to pick this up later on tonight or not, but uh, I do have to uh, go to the haunt this evening and uh, do things over there, like scare people and stuff um, for Halloween. Um, and I've got to eat and get ready for all that stuff. Uh, I just wanted to get on here and uh, play the game for a little while, see how it is. Um, visually, it's good. Visually, I'm not overwhelmed like I was with Subnautica. Um, Subnautica was very overwhelming. And I think that's also something um, to... Uh, I mean, it's something to credit the Index for, I guess, with uh, the... The dark games seem to be okay. The blacks aren't as black as they could be, and there is a little bit of lens um, flare-ish going on. Uh, but, you know, a lot of that's just the way VR is, and a lot of that is the uh, the Winmo VR uh, insert lenses that I have in there, too. They have a little bit of a halo, but that's okay. Um, that's, that's a me thing. Um, I'm not visually done. Like, my eyes are okay. I'm, I'm not done. Um, I need to quit just because I have stuff to do. Um, and my forehead, honestly, is more sore than my eyes are from uh, moving around. I've got the overhead rig and all that, so it's, it's kind of a, a thing, um, you know, adjustment-wise. But uh, honestly, it's, it's very um, it's comfortable. I don't know that it's intuitive to pick up with all of the mouse and keyboard stuff, there was a, uh, there was an option when I first started the game, it wanted me to, uh, choose whether or not, uh, I had, uh, hints and subtitles, and, uh, if I wanted to do, uh, text to speech over the hints and the subtitles, and, uh, I was like, yeah, and I'm glad that I did. Otherwise, I would never know that one does something, and two does something, and five does something, and R, and T, and Z, and G, and all of these controls. It's got a what seems to me a very complicated control scheme, but I don't play Flight Sims, so I don't know. Um... But, uh, I, yeah, uh, Bruce, I enjoyed the visit this morning as well, um, and, uh, if you don't know, uh, uh, who Bruce is, he is an artist, he paints awesome, awesome landscape stuff, in fact, he painted some corn and sent it to me, and it's downstairs in my, uh, den, which I really, really enjoy, and I look at, uh, often, I'm not dropping $300 plus on that big of a gamble since I need my glasses to play. Uh, that's totally understandable. That's totally understandable. Um, let me check up on the chat real quick. Close chat, rest eyes for later. Ended up falling asleep. Oh, no. Um, <clears throat> wait a couple hours. Be in your world. Um... Alright, and I think we're all good. 
I lurk in Bruce's streams. Yeah, me too. Is that Scratch and Bow? What's up, man? Scratch and Bow on the go. Yeah. Um, welcome to the stream. We uh, were just playing uh, Star Wars Squadrons in VR. I'm going to leave the stream up for the rest of the day before I take it down, more than likely. Um, if I take it down, I'm not sure. It just depends on how it kills the momentum of my other video. If it totally stops the momentum of the latest video, then I'm going to take it down and repost it later. Um, but, uh, yeah, this has been a whole lot of fun, and I hope that uh, gave you a, a decent first impression on what the game is like and what the game is like in VR. Um, you do have to use a mouse and keyboard, even if you are playing in VR. That's something to keep, uh, keep in mind. Um, visually, it's, it's good, it, uh, it's kind of, it's a learning curve, but, uh, I'll wait to see if additional accessories are comparable to Quest 1 before you buy it. That's a great idea. Um, what's referring to the distance between your eyes and the lenses in the new Quest headsets, um, it has been reduced, um, uh, by, uh, um, some distance and if you have glasses that uh, are um, a little bit thicker or you have larger frames or stuff like that there's a possibility that your glasses might not fit comfortably on your face and in the quest 2 um, and they're supposed to be making some accessory kits and stuff like that to uh, avoid that problem who knows I don't uh, we'll see but uh, I like this game as well. I think we're going to continue playing this game on the regular. So we're going to have Mario, we're going to have Half-Life Alex, and now we're going to have Squadrons, and we have Beat Saber. So that's four games that I can really get behind. And then we also have the Portal series coming up. We've got the Valve series coming up, the Half-Life series coming up, and we also have to finish up Cube 2. So, uh, Cube 2, uh, will probably happen in the next couple of days, and, uh, we'll be playing some more squadrons over here. We'll see what the, uh, powers that be do with the emails that are gonna be sent with the dun 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 We'll see what happens. Uh, my email's already going off now, so I'm sure it's gonna be a fun one. You guys, take care, and I'm gonna go and, uh, get ready for a whole lot of fun this evening. Y'all have fun, be safe, do all the cool kid things, smash like, subscribe, comment on a video if you don't mind. It really does help push them out there, and I'll see you all next couple of days sometime. This is my live stream for the day, so I'm not going to update anybody. Uh, well, I'll probably throw an update out later on, so have fun. Bye.